when walking a whole slack line, an interesting thing happens. At the edge of the slack line, there is no real force increase, and the more you get to the middle, the bigger the force becomes. The reason therefore is a kind of lever that becomes bigger to the middle. Imagine you're standing on a tree sling, exactly where the tree is. You don't put a lever on the slack line, so there is no reason at all that there will be an increase of force in the slack line. The next thing we want to have a look at is the exact form of the force curve when making jumps. With a bad time resolution, the curves of butt bouncing and chest bouncing look as if there is a shock load. However, if we look in a bit closer, we see that the force curve starts in a slight increase when touching the line and decreases in a standard curve up to a maximum to then decrease in a similar way again. If the force curve is measured in a bad time resolution, the peak forces will be missed. If you want to register the peak forces in your slack line when bouncing, you should put your force measurement device on about 100 Hz. That means that it measures 100 values every second. If putting it on a much lower frequency, you will simply miss the highest forces.